um, I went to Cold Stone last night. Who here knows what Cold Stone is? Okay, I know. How many miles did you, How many miles did you have to run? <laughs> I, I, I I did 15 miles yesterday, so I thought oh, I. Was, that's good for that's good for a scoop. <laughs> so it was a scoop. You take ice cream and you put it on a cold plate and you add three brownies. You add four Reese's peanut butter cups. And you eat and two scoops of Heath Bar Crunch, and you mix it up together, and you kid yourself that there's absolutely no calories in it. <laughs> and it was very good. But I was there, and um, it's busy and everything. But there was a young guy, 19, 20 years old. And we have a college. We have colleges and things nearby, and um, he started talking to me. And I said, "Oh, thank you for coming in. Real nice kid." Started to, he wanted to engage me as busy as one. These kids are working hard. This, this is hard mashing this ice cream and candy and stuff all together. And um, I said, do you go to school? He said, yeah, um, I'm a business major. Oh, what do you want to do? I want to go into real estate. And so we started, we were talking and talking. I, you ever fall instantly in love with someone? You just like them right away. What was he doing to me? While we were while we were engaging, while he's making mushing up all this ice cream and candy and stuff, what was he doing? Rapport, rapport. Right. So you know, for seven dollars worth of ice cream, he got a fifteen dollar. He got a total of fifteen bucks. I said, here, keep it. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not a. I like to tip people who go out of their way, who go overboard. Okay, he's a hardworking kid and everything. What happened in me chemically, emotionally, to make me give this guy a hundred percent tip? You saw it. You saw yourself. Uh, go deeper. I, I, I like that answer, but give me he some made more. An instant, he made an instant emotional connection with you because of his enthusiasm for real estate. I like that too. Go, keep going. More. Give me more. What he, else? he was he was outgoing enough to engage you. Engage me. What does that word engage me mean, though? I want more definitions. More. Give me more adjectives. He, he made you feel good because he was excited Ooh. that you were there. Who said that? Who said make me feel very good? He made me feel good. What happens when we make people feel good? They like you. What you, happens? You want to do something in return? Endorphins. Yes. Well, what do we call that? Give me a psychological Reciproc little word. Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Everybody together. One, one, two, three. Reciprocity. 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 What is that? Five, five things. Syllable. Uh, syllables. Syllables. Oh, no. What do you yeah, call? Five yeah. Syllables. yeah. Five syllables. Five syllables. Reciprocity. How important is it when to, when you talk to people and you get likability, you identify with them, things start happening in just a, and it can just be a moment, by the way, it doesn't have to be a two hour presentation and in, in, in the holiday Inn with the guy with the red tie and everything. Does it have to be that long? Can you, can we, can we make people um, like us, trust us, get involved with us? It can, in be, a short period of time? It can be 10 seconds in the grocery store. What do you mean, 10 seconds in the grocery it's store? Just standing in line at the grocery store it can take 10 seconds to say hi, uh, ask a quick question, get a response, and respond to that with some form of reciprocity. Yeah. Treat treat people the like time. they're really. Yeah. It's Go like ahead. treating you, you. You engage people to let them know that hey, you're a person, and you're in, you're acknowledging them, not just oh. a quick checkout. You're not, just, you're not just another guy in the store that you know you're in and you're out but that person has a life that person has goals it's a, imagine if we use this take the cold stone example if you maybe two three four minutes with a guy get the hundred percent tip just because i like him i respect kids who work hard i identified with them you somebody said that earlier that was me not too long ago, okay? Life goes fast, doesn't it? That was me working all these crummy little jobs to make enough money, then kids, kids have it even harder today. Have you been, I don't know about you guys, but here in the Soviet socialist state of Southern California, gas is almost $5. Ridiculous. Yep, tell me about that Uber. Oh, okay, you, you know. Sign the, petition, sign the petition to get rid of Newsom. 
Now, can we do the same thing? Forget about Cold Stone and ice cream for $7 and, and everything. Can we do the same? What if we add some zeros to, uh, what if we enlarge this now? What if we talk about real estate? 100,000, a 500,000, a five million dollar house. Do you think someone would make a decision on the biggest purchase of their life, life insurance, finance, uh, real estate, anything, based on the words that person uses and the feelings that are evoked from that person, rather than just the intellectual presentation, the, the square footage, oh, look, it comes, with, uh, it comes with Berber carpeting and everything. Do you think that's as important as doing what that kid did to me in Colstone? No. How important, it, no. do you think it can apply these principles into bigger pictures, bigger <coughs> numbers? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's less, uh, and I just see these little lessons all the time. Are you guys looking for these little lessons all over the place? No. They're there. They're in front of us all over. Why do we make the decisions we make? It's all about persuasion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> it, is, it is all about convincing somebody. So um, that's my opener here for 